Okay, so let's start by opening up Xcode and creating a new Xcode project. Let's see, I'm just going to select Xcode here, new project. And then I'm going to name this project. If you, there we go. It's going to be a single view application, first of all. And I am going to name this web load. Uh, because we're going to take a look at how we can load a web page in our app. Now, the reason I'm doing this uh, tutorial is because uh, many people have requested it but as you will see it's really pretty simple but there is one small thing that can trip you up but we will also take a look at that so first of all we have to drag in a web view and this will allow us to display web content so we need one of those and that is also going to be all we need so we're just going to drag it in then we're going to stretch it wide so that it fills the whole view controller and then I am going to play some constraints so that it stays nice and stretched out to all borders and then I am going to click on this one and drag it into control drag it into our view controller and I'm going to name it my web view connect it up and then we are pretty much done uh, with the storyboard so we head over to the view controller I'm going to get us some more space here. There we go, we can also hide that one. And now we're going to take a look at how we just load a simple URL into our web view so that we can display a web page in our web view. And the first thing we need to do is we need to define a URL. So we say let URL is equal to HTT, wait a second, URL, which is made up of a string and our string is going to be https make sure that you have https in front colon slash slash www.google.com are those four or three w's that's four okay so here we go here i have my url and that is the url or the web page that i want to display in my app and the way i do that is simply by saying my web view dot load request and our request is a URL request. So we're just going to let that be. Then we're going to say URL and our URL is our URL. And make and set an exclamation mark there just to uh, say to Xcode that we are sure that this is a valid and a defined URL. So these are pretty much the two lines of code that you need. But as I will show you after we have launched this app, there is one little thing that you have to watch out for when doing these types of requests. So here you can see the app has loaded google.com and if I now type in something, let's say I type in dog and I search for that, you will see that it's a fully functional web page that works just like any other web page. And this is ideal for businesses who wants to just display their uh, website because as you can see, you can't navigate here. You don't have a navigation bar. You can build that in. But right now we don't have that and that makes it ideal for businesses because you want your customer to stay on your site and not uh, browse around. So this is ideal if you have a website and instead of making a whole app, you can just display your website or you can just use it as a complementary. But as you will see, there is one little thing that can trip you up when doing this and that is if we were to remove the S. So many web pages still uh, only have HTTP and if we try to launch that you will see that we will get an error. So as you can see it's totally blank and here we have the error app transport security has blocked so it has blocked our website and that is because it's not HTTPS but it's an HTTP. Now in order for us to or in order to say to the app that it's okay to open those kind of URLs we have to jump over to the info.plist and then just click plus on any of these items. And then we're going to type in app transport security settings. So just like down here, it says app transport security has blocked our URL. So first of all, we need to access that one, app transport security settings. Then we click on the down error and then we add an item to our ad app transport security settings. Let's see, I'm just going to click on plus and we need allow arbitrary loads. And as you can see, as a default, it's set to no and that we want to change to yes. 
So now, oops, now we will be able to launch our website even though it's only an HTTP. So here, as you can see, by just making that little tweak, we are now able to launch HTTP links as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, then make sure that you click the subscribe button to this channel so that you stay tuned for future videos. If you have any other questions or video requests, just put them in the comments below. And then I will see you back in the next video.